everything you want will come if you just obsess over making the best videos possible. This took many days to film. Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory in real life. We created every single set from Squid Game in real life. And whichever one of these 456 people survives the longest wins 456 grand. You'll make more money. Two years ago, we were spending 100 grand a video. Now we're spending probably 1.5 million a video. You'll get more views. I just hit 50,000 video views. Everything we film in these videos, every single frame, 50 million people are going to see, sometimes upward to 200 million. So you'll get more subscribers. I just hit 300 subscribers, which is pretty freaking awesome. We hit 100 million subscribers! You'll get more recognition from your peers. Do you think he will ever pass you? What, what do you think of that? Yeah, he definitely will. He definitely deserves that. I hope he does that. So you'll get whatever it is you crave. If you just make great videos, you'll get it. My parents were in the military. We were moving a lot, like from Kansas to like Atlanta to Germany for a little bit to here. And I was just raised mm. with my mom, who was always working because we didn't have tons of money. So, like most of my life, I was just kind of home alone. Hear ye, hear ye! The Black Ops Three beta is upon us. Over the next five days, you will encounter great frustration and great lag. Like I didn't know how to socialize. Jimmy was raised playing sports. Jimmy was raised going to school. Jimmy graduated from high school. I don't know, I was always just uh, really obsessed with baseball. That's my first middle school home run, and that's my first Little League home run. There are some pictures of me. Baseball was the thing I did, and then when I wasn't playing baseball, I'd make YouTube videos on the side, but then I got Crohn's disease, and so I just gave up on that dream instantly. I was like, oh, well, this isn't a thing anymore. I guess I'll start off by telling you my story with Crohn's. Uh, I got it in ninth grade, and I was going to the bathroom like seven times a day. I had unbelievable pain every time, threw up like every other day and I lost 30 pounds, spent an entire summer laying in my bed, um, tons of fatigue, bunch of problems, yada, 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 give me your sympathy. You know, one day you can hit a home run, the next day you can barely hit it out of the infield. All right, gee, where am I? What just happened? My life basically started when I made my first video. Everything before that <laughs> was, it's kind of like a blur in my head. Psych, light goals are for idiots. So you're probably wondering where I, what, what? People would tell me, all you do is talk about YouTube. You're too obsessed with YouTube, like, get a life. I came across my notes, and I actually had a section of notes entitled YouTube. That's all it said. And the only thing I had in there was hit a thousand subs and hit a hundred thousand views. And I wrote those notes back when I was 12, about to turn 13. If you wake up and every day you obsess over something and you live and breathe it, and that's what you think about, that's what you do, that's what you study on and off, that's what you stay up every night grinding, and no one else even gives a flying about it, it's like, you just feel like a weirdo, you know, like an outcast. It really just was a strange thing, you know what I mean, to like want to dedicate your life to being a YouTuber and being that obsessed. It was just easier not to talk to anyone. I had a channel before Mr. Beast and after two years of doing it, I deleted the channel because like some of my friends started watching it that I had at the time. And I was like, oh no, no. <laughs> and so I just got rid of it. I was that introverted and shy. I was like, please, no one watch these. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For too long, we've put up with Mr. Beast 6000's crap. Chris is one of my oldest friends, probably my oldest friend that I still know to this day. Chris would be like Pudipop. He was the funniest guy I've ever met. And I just noticed that when he was in the videos, they were so much funnier. I was there with Jimmy the day he created his YouTube channel and I was actually his first subscriber. If I do die, Chris, you can have my YouTube channel. I'll give you my username and password only if I die. If I don't die, you can't have my uh, YouTube channel, Chris. I'm giving it to Chris because he's currently my most active subscriber. During that time, he was kind of trying a bunch of different things. What is going on, guys? As you can tell by the title, this is going to be a video about the top 10 worst guns in Call of Duty history. We started making commentary style YouTube videos, which is like you have somebody playing a video game and then you're just talking over, giving your opinions about stuff. Kind of the topic for this commentary is Call of Duty hipsters. He started doing that for a while, which kind of turned into a new series that he started where he was talking about YouTubers and how much money they make. So anyways, on average, Pewds makes $13,650 per day. I don't remember the YouTuber's name, but some YouTubers, uh, ad revenue, he was hacked and it was leaked and it showed that he did made like 300 grand over three years. And I made like two videos on that and I was just so shocked. I was like, yeah. guys, and I remember like yeah, telling yeah, everyone yeah. I know and they're all like, who cares? I was like, guys, YouTubers can make money. Yeah. Like, yeah, I thought it was just cool to be, did you know they can make money? I'm like a stupid yeah. teenager, like really young. It took me 75 
5,000 views to make my first hundred dollars off of YouTube. My channel is insanely small. I don't even have like a thousand subscribers yet. So uh, anything I'm getting right now is just awesome. If you saw me at that age and yeah. you could bet like a hundred million dollars that I wouldn't be a YouTuber, you would take that bet a hundred yeah. out of a hundred times. I was so obsessed. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is unhealthy how obsessed. There's not a single person on the planet that's been more obsessed that same time span as me because it's physically impossible. This is what I'm doing to the day I die. I don't care. Like, I love this more than anything. Nothing's ever brought me a, f a fraction of the joy. I just hit 300 subscribers, which is pretty freaking awesome. Quadruple digits. I hit 1,500 subs, which is just a crazy number. <laughs> 2,000 subs. What? 3,000 subscribers! I am Mr. B6000, and I have 6,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers. I mean, I think I have over 450 videos on this channel. I, um, I've put a lot of time into this channel, and I'm glad people are enjoying my content. I'm glad people are liking my videos. When I used to make, like, a dollar a day, I saved up for months and I bought a microphone. And then, uh, I saved up for, like, half a year and I bought a computer. I'd rather be poor and making videos than literally doing anything else. Did I ever tell you guys that I am a ninja? A lot of my earlier videos, they suck because I just wasn't entertaining back then. I was stupid. Every night before bed, I'd just be like, it sucks, it's a lot of work, and I feel like I'm not getting anywhere, but if I just do it long enough, eventually, it'll click, eventually I'll figure it out. Yeah, uh, as of right now, I'm enjoying YouTube. Hopefully I still, future me still enjoys it, and I don't know, I'd, I'd be crazy if I had some ridiculous amount of subscribers, like 20K or something. My mom's like, well, no, either go to college or move out. I'm not just gonna pay for you to sit in the room and, you know, chase this fairy tale dream. I remember like, it almost makes me tear up. I remember like crying like one night because I wasn't making enough to do YouTube and like the thought of like, I was literally considering going and getting a job at Hardee's to like make a little bit of extra money to buy more equipment. And the thought of like having to do anything besides YouTube, like just made me so depressed. Mm -hmm. I catch myself sometimes like, man, this is so much easier <laughs> when it's just me in my room. And it's like, no, it was it. I was making a hundred bucks a month and struggling for money and like yeah. literally stressed out of my mind 24 seven because I didn't know what I'd do after high school. Like that sucked. Every day I would act like I was going and then I'd just sit in my car, edit videos. That's when things actually click. But anyways, I just hit, oops. I just hit 20,000 subscribers. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness, dude. That's crazy. That looks so good. I had some videos pop off. I couldn't tell you which ones, but I had a month where I made 20 grand because I just had some videos just do really, really well. And then I, yeah, I came home and I was like, yeah, I haven't been going to college and I moved out the next day. My mom almost had a heart attack because she doesn't understand YouTube or anything back then. So today we're going to be blowing up the thousand dollar keyboard. Mom just kicked him out. He's on his own. Um, and he knew he was kind of in one of these do or die situations. Today I'm going to be reading the entire B movie script with a little plot twist. Every time the word B comes up, I'm going to say all the previous ones. B, 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 B. That's where it kind of clicked like, oh, like if I do interesting things, people will watch. <sighs> I'm about to count to 100,000. That was the one where one, two. Three? It really Four. took off and Five, the whole world six, was kind of like seven. 34, 17, 6, 35, 17, 6, 36, 17, Look at this 6, idiot. 37, 17, 6, and 99. Uh, 100,000. Why do you count for 40 <laughs> hours? He started doing all these kind of crazy, ridiculous, like lengthy challenges that nobody had ever done. 200,000. Woo! I was kind of amazed that people cared. I'm gonna be watching It's Every Day Bro for 10 hours straight. It's so original that you kind of just have to click on it. And I was like, wow, that's genius. Everything in life, right? Whether I want to be my own boss, I want to do whatever I want to do. Like I want to have fun with my friends. I want to be able to retire my mom or hire my mom, whatever. Do YouTube. It all pointed to just, well, just get views and everything you want in life will kind of happen. I wanted to give you a check that Help you pay for it? No. Yeah. Then like. No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. The first thing I did was retired my mom. I I love my mom. She's great. I, I'm factually the best mom on the planet. Like your mom's <laughs> second. This video is sponsored by Quid. I'm doing a brand deal for Quid, and they paid me ten thousand dollars. I was offered five grand for a video, but this was when I was like nineteen, and this is so much money. It's like, mom, look, look. Eight, nine. 
Ten. I was like, double it, and I'll walk outside and I'll give it to a homeless person. And they're like, no, you won't. It's like pacing around my neighborhood for three hours convincing this guy, like on the phone, just double the money, I promise the video will go viral, and I'll give it to homeless person. I was like, $10,000 just looks better in a title. It'll get more views, I promise your, your app will do better. It's a series where I just, you know, be nice and just give people some help. So uh, if you want to take it, it's about $10,000. I'm not joking. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have as much money. If I saw a homeless person, I would you know, open my wallet and give them almost all the money I had. It's just fun, you know, because then you see the reaction, their face light up. In some of my videos, I've literally given away over a million dollars. I don't care how long this takes, whichever one of you leaves last wins half a million dollars. I tipped pizza delivery people a hundred bucks, and then I tipped a homeless man 10 grand, and then, you know, gave away cars, gave away houses, and last hand, take, take hand off a million dollars keeps it. you can fit in this circle, I'll pay for it. Really? Really? The last like eight or nine years, like every dollar I've made, I just spent it the next month on content. And I just did that every single month and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and here we are. So you don't like go crazy? You don't have a Ferrari or anything nuts? No. I, I think living your life chasing like a nicer, nicer car and a bigger and bigger box to live in is kind of like a dumb way to, you know, to go about life. we be packaging and delivering 28,000 meals for a city in need. So I wanted to figure out like I have this ability to go viral and get views. Uh, and so I wanted to figure out how to leverage it to like basically build a charity on the back. What is up gamers? I just opened my very own charity and I just wanted to tell you guys about it. Dead Serious, 100% of all the ad revenue, brand deals, and merch sales from this channel, Beast Philanthropy, will go into this food pantry. We just crossed one year of operation and we were able to give away over a million meals in our first year. I really think positivity can be just as interesting as negativity. I just think it's harder. Every dog in this dog shelter will get adopted. I like to do just unique, crazy, insane things uh, and just keep the focus with positive helping. Today, we will be planting 20 million trees. Two years ago, we crushed our goals with Team Trees and planted 20 million trees. And now, it's time to do it again. Which is why we, along with hundreds of other creators, are launching Team Seas. And for every $1 you guys donate like this, one less pound of trash will be in the ocean. As of today, Team Seas has officially cleaned all 34 million 80,191 pounds of trash and plastic out of the oceans and rivers all across the world. I am absolutely stunned by the amount of people that have traveled here from cross country, out of the country, and some have never even tried one of these burgers. So I like to find these geniuses that have tons of experience mm. and just crush it in their industry and then just be like, you know, here's a couple million dollars. I have a large fan base. Let's build something dope and just reinvest the money forever. I opened up the world's first free restaurant. So when I first started it, this is when COVID was at its height. So we started a virtual restaurant. A lot of restaurants were laying people off. And Beast Burger, originally why we got into it, is it was like a way for restaurants to make extra money. It was supposed to be like just a pop-up. Let's just uh, sell Beast Burgers for a day or two. Let's, let's see what happens. We didn't really think it would be as big as it was. I didn't really plan on running a restaurant chain, but here What's I am. What's the biggest thing you've ever made? The biggest thing I've ever made? Probably these nuts. Feasible is something I've always wanted to do. Because I, I think just in general, uh, American snacks are just full of so much horrible ingredients. You have to try these nuts. Go to feastables.com right now if you want some nuts in your mouth. To me, this is kind of like a YouTube thumbnail, like you put it mm -hmm. on a shelf in a store. So like, yeah. it actually like, a lot of what I learned on YouTube about like yeah. bait or whatever yeah. came over and it's like I get that same excitement designing the packaging that I do when I get to make a YouTube yeah. thumbnail and it's very fun to like create something create an actual product and then like have people try it and experience it I love it so much it's so addicting and I never I never ever 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 thought I would find something even remotely close to YouTube that I like mm -hmm. love and I can like throw my life at and like genuinely enjoy the bigger the number's gotten, the less I care. Like I, you know, when I was younger, I checked that 20 times a day. Now I check it maybe like once a month. They say it takes 10,000 hours to master yeah. something. Mm -hmm. Like I think in, in the, like doing something for a career or whatever you would call being successful or whatever, throw that out the window. I think it's just like 10 years of just obsession. There's a reason no one else does what I do. Right. There is, like no one, not a single creator makes videos anywhere near as difficult as we do. Yeah. And there's a reason, like yeah. they're freaking hard. They're so hard. Deuces. I'm not PewDiePie. Screw that. I don't want to do this over again. See ya, future me.